Hello and welcome back to the Computer Lab. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to offer remote assistance to somebody that needs your help by connecting your computer to their computer using a built-in tool in Windows 10. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, two computers. One is the helper and the other one is the person needing the help. Uh, so I will zoom in and out of these in a bit. Um, so we'll get rid of the red labels. But you can see the one on the left is going to be the helper and the one in the top corner is going to be the one needing the help. And we're going to be using a program called Quick Assist, which is very similar to what uh, Remote Assistant used to be in Windows 7 um, and Windows 8, etc. So either go down to the bottom left hand corner and type in Quick Assist in the search box or click the Windows key uh, and that will bring up the same search box and just type in quick assist uh, and this will then open up the app so once the app is open you are presented with a couple of options one of them is get assistance and the other one is give assistance this is the helper computer so uh, the give assistance or assist another person is the option i will be clicking on in a second and as soon as I click that assist another person a code will be generated and that code is the one that you would give verbally um, to the person that you are assisting so at this point you're probably talking to somebody to assist them uh, on the phone or something like that uh, so you need to tell them to do the same thing and open up quick assist on Windows 10 so on their computer they need to go into the bottom left hand corner type in quick assist or push the windows key which brings up the same search box and type in quick assist now they are now waiting for a code from assistant and a code from the helper which obviously will hopefully be uh, yourself so we need to go back on to our computer and show you the code that is generated uh, from the helper side and you will give that then verbally to the person that you are helping Okay, so the helper uh, now needs to click on assist another person. Uh, the reason why I didn't do this before is because there is a 10 minute uh, time limit on the code and I didn't want it timing out. Um, so now I have clicked on that, you will see a code is generated. Uh, the code expires in 10 minutes and we need to now give that code verbally uh, to the person that we are helping. So on the a uh, person that we are helping on their computer you need to tell them to put the code that uh, in this case is the 974907 the code that's generated by quick assist and on their windows 10 machine in this quick assist box uh, they need to then type that same code in and as soon as uh, you see as soon as i put that code in it will then uh, give me some options where I can take control of the computer. It asks me if i want um, to just actually screen share or if i want to uh, take control to maybe fix a problem or something like that so let's put the uh, code in and you'll see what I mean so the uh, on the helper side as soon as the person being helped has put the same code in uh, you'll see that uh, the helper computer then asks us what we want to request so at this point I'm going to take full control because I just want to show you some of the options and some of the nice things that are in there but if you just want to view the screen to maybe view something um, that um, maybe uh, somebody that you're helping just wants to show you, so they just want to show you some pictures uh, without emailing them, then you can just basically view that or maybe just uh, talk them through the problem without actually taking full control. Uh, be aware, obviously, um, these tools can be used by scammers, um, so be very wary if you're giving full control to somebody uh, of your computer. Okay, so you can see there, obviously, I've requested full control. Now I have an option, uh, so the person being helped has an option to allow, and I'm going to allow, obviously, for this tutorial so we can see um, how it works and what things happen. Um, so at this point, I'm going to put the screens side by side. I appreciate that the screens might look small, especially if you're watching on an iPhone or an iPad or something like that. Uh, but if you're watching on a computer, hopefully you can see the different uh, things. And I might just zoom in on a certain section when we get a bit further into the video. Um, I'm trying to keep this about a 10 minute time, so I'm just going to touch on the other things that this um, quick assist in Windows 10, um, uh, some of the functionalities that it does give you. 
So looking at some of the options that we have, uh, it allows dual screen support. So on the computer that I'm helping at the moment, I'll just maximize the window so you can uh, see what's going on a bit better. Uh, on the uh, helper side, I've got an option to show uh, monitors in the top left hand corner. That's because the computer that I'm helping is a dual monitor setup. Uh, so at the moment I'm only viewing one of them monitors. I can view both side by side by clicking on the all monitors icon. Um, but I can also select which uh, monitor I want. So on the, the uh, computer that I'm assisting, if you can see now, I've just opened up um, a web browser uh, with uh, just in Microsoft Edge, and it's not showing uh, on my computer that I'm uh, helping from. Uh, so I've got a couple of options. I can click all monitors, uh, click one monitor or zero monitor. And if I just make the um, opacity of the computer that I'm helping, just if I just blank that out a second, just so you can see, so now I'm viewing both monitors. You can see I've got a, a replicated version of what's on the uh, computer I'm helping to the one that I am helping from. So it's just that it gives you the option of the two monitors. Usually you'll be only helping somebody uh, from that's got a single monitor set up. But it's nice that Microsoft have included uh, in Quick Assist the option to have um, a single or multi-monitor support. Uh, so you can view and help across multiple monitors on the computer you're helping from and to. Okay, so yeah, so it's got multi-monitor support and helping in Quick Assist is the point being there. So the next thing I want to show you is how to mark up on the screen. Um, Microsoft first introduced this in Microsoft Edge where you can mark up on web pages and stuff like that. So I'll just have to swap the screens around slightly just so you can see where I'm picking in the menu. So in the top right hand corner, you just click on the annotate uh, button, which is in the uh, menu there. Uh, and then we can pick on the top left hand corner, pick on which marker color we want. Uh, I'll just leave it on red and I'll just show you there. I'll just circle around on the uh, on the main screen and on the person that I'm helping it obviously circles on their screen. So you can scribble notes on there uh, or you can delete it just by pushing the little razor key, which is next to the marker in the top left hand corner. So the next thing in the top menu on the right hand side in Quick Assist, we have uh, an actual size button. This won't change any, but I'll click it on and off. Um, obviously if it's looking small or bigger, you can change that on yours. Just to click the icon, it just gives you the actual size of their screen on your screen. Uh, the next one is like a little notepad. You can send messages. They call it an instruction channel. Uh, basically, if you want to give instructions and you can't talk to them, um, you can do it via uh, like a little notepad. and It pops up on their screen when you send notes backward and forward. And then you have restart, which is pretty obvious. Next one is task manager. This is great. Uh, so normally you push control alt delete um, to get this sort of menus up, uh, but you can just click that button there, uh, that button there, and it will bring up the task manager and there you can close programs down or see what um, what programs are slowing uh, the Windows 10 machine down, for example. So a nice little, uh, again, nice little tool that um, Microsoft have added in to the actual quick assist menu. Uh, and then the final one that we have is the uh, pause or the stop. Uh, so you can pause the actual connection if you want to do something else, then come back to it. And then there's, uh, as soon as you pause it, you're then presented with a little play button to restart it. And just to the right of that, you then have the stop button uh, which stops the session altogether uh, depending on how quick your internet connection is will depend on how quick it is to restart the uh, quick assist session uh, but if you've got a uh, fairly rapid or fairly quick internet connection then it should be uh, pretty much instantaneous it probably took mine about 10 seconds just to come back up there um, and finally once uh, on the menus like I say you have the stop button there and you also have a menu key to the right which just shows you in detail the menu that I've just been explaining uh, with the full descriptions underneath so I'm going to stop this session now I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do hit the like button please do subscribe to the computer lab it all helps my channel grow and please do hit me with some comments below for any videos you'd like to see and thanks again for watching the computer lab on YouTube